Hey everybody, I'm with Gabe at Infinity Watch. Hey everybody, Gabe Infinity Watch is back right at you on the same Gabe Infinity Watch channel. Kind of gay, same Gabe Infinity Watch time. Uh, this is the end of July and hopefully close enough to the end of summer where all this heat that I get here in Vegas kind of goes away. Uh, I'm getting a little sick of the heat, but it is what it is. Uh, autumn will be hitting us pretty soon and life will be just that much better. But anyways, you didn't come here to talk or to hear me whine about the heat. You guys came here obviously because you see on the title, this is the July 2017 haul. So July was a great, great month uh, for books that came out and for pickups and hauls and stuff like that. I got a lot of crazy stuff this month. Um, a lot of it I already, sh I already did reviews and other videos on uh, right away already, so I'm not going to try and bore you guys and talk about the same thing over and over again that's already on videos. I'll just be linking to the videos up here or up here, wherever it pops up from. Um, so you guys can go back and check on that if you want more details about these items. Quick shout out to everybody out there in YouTube who is following me on, on my channel. Everybody out there in the Omnibus Collectors Facebook group and all the Omni Bros out there as well. And a special shout out to uh, John who just made himself his own YouTube channel. So a big shout out to him. Uh, it's called The Comic Relief. I'll link it in the video and in the show notes as well. Uh, shout out to him. It's always great to see more people uh, do videos and start their own channels and kind of get their their voices and opinions out there. It's It takes a lot to do that and it takes a lot to keep it up. Uh, trust me, I'm I'm still very new at this and it's it's fun and exciting and it's always uplifting to see somebody like John or anybody else give me a shout out as inspiration and an influencer to cause them to you know, kind of venture out on their own. So big shout out to him. It's a great channel so far. He has a couple videos up with reviews and stuff like that. So if you're into my kind of stuff, check him out as well. So with all that said and done, let's get into the haul for July. Um, let's start out with uh, the smaller stuff. Let's go small to big. I could probably do it that way. Let's go with, I got a bunch of pops this month. Um, as you, if you haven't seen my last, uh, video or my last haul video. I'm not a big pop guy. Uh, I'm still not. I like to get pops of things that I like. Um, I don't like to, I'm not going to get every single pop that I see or every variant or anything like that. Honestly, I don't really have many comic book pops. I got maybe three. Uh, a lot of my other pops are things like this. This is Ickis from Ah uh, Real Monsters, which was a great Nickelodeon show uh, back in the 90s. And I love that they have started doing these pops. I mean, any kind of... And then here's Oblina. So anything that kind of brings these characters back into like the limelight and into you know the hearts and the minds of all the old school 90s TV show fans, and maybe even new, new people who haven't quite uh, got into it before. And then here's Crumb. So I have all three of the uh, Aura Monsters pops that came out. Crumb's cool. Armpits don't smell as bad as I, as I would think, you know, based on the show. Um, but yeah, these are cool. I'm really happy with these. So yeah, let me just go over again. Here's Crumb. He's cool. He holds his eyeballs in his hands. Ickis is stuck on Oblina, and then Oblina. Really cool. We got the same lips. And then I got Chucky. Look at Chucky. He's so cute. He's adorable. I like the pops. You know, kind of like these guys. Where too many pops all kind of look alike. But I like the ones that don't. You know, they kind of go out of the mix a little bit. So, um, I like that 
Chucky doesn't have like the exact same head as other pops. Same reason I like the all real monsters. They're all different looking. But he's cool. I like how they even gave him little details like down to his shoes and how his feet are kind of pigeon toed and kind of, you know, his feet walked in ways and his shoes untied. That's cool details. I like that. So he's really neat from Rugrats. He's the only Rugrats pop I like. I mean, other than I'm going to get the Reptar one probably if I find him. Um, but the Tommy one just looks weird. He just looks like a... Looks like a freaky baby. I don't like the Tommy one at all. So I won't be picking up Tommy. But uh, I like Chucky and I want to find Reptar. And with it being uh, San Diego Comic Con just about a week ago it ended. Was, of course, the crazy Comic Con exclusives and everybody kind of going wild and crazy for those kinds of things. Um, I didn't go too much for it, but I did take time and effort to pick up the cat dog pop. This one is flocked, so that means he's kind of he's kind of fuzzy. But this is just this is my favorite pop. It's so cute, and I love the little details with the whiskers and the spot around dog's eye and the spot on them all all around. And it's flocked. It's just a, again, I like the different different types of pops um so he's kind of fuzzy he's kind of cute to touch my kids really like this one um well yeah this is great love the show i gotta get the dvd uh, so i can kind of relive watching that again but yeah that's it for the pops that's it for the, the smaller things that i got here next up the complete dud dvd absolutely this is the coolest thing ever. Um, we did a Omni Bros episode about cartoons and our favorite cartoons and stuff like that. And in the middle of it, because for a while I thought this was out of print and I thought this was stupid expensive. I see it, I think I see it on Amazon for dumb prices. No, I see it on eBay for dumb prices, like 40, 50 bucks. And uh, Geo, uh, We Can Geek Them, shout out to that brother. Uh, showed me that on Amazon, it was going for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. So during the show, I immediately bought it. This is, um, does it say how many episodes? Cause I know Doug had like a silly amount of episodes, like 90 episodes or something like that. Um, but this is all the Nickelodeon version of Doug. So this is a complete series of that. Later on, um, Jim Jenkins, the creator of Doug, took it over to Disney and ABC and did a second series of Doug where they kind of didn't grow up. It's not like, you know, when they dig Rugrats grow up and they're like, you know, teenagers. They just went from uh, junior high to high school. So, you know, a one year difference, but a lot of changes, different schools, people lost weight and changed their parents over the summer, kind of, you know, things like that, which is cool. Cause that's kind of, I remember that happening a lot during school, but Doug's a great show. Absolutely love it. And, uh, oh, this is 52 episodes. Not 90. I think 90s if you do all of them together. I don't know. I don't know where 90 came from. Maybe I'm thinking 90s. I don't know. But yeah, this is all 52. So that's cool. Now let's move on to... So this, that's kind of the toys and the other things. Let's move on to comics. Alright. Let's talk about uh, Invader Zim. Got the Invader Zim Deluxe hardcover from Omni Press. This is really cool. Not gonna bore you guys with it because I did a video uh, of a review of this already, so check that out wherever this pops up. I'll pop up a little pop up of that. Uh, Chew, Absolute Chew, Volume Three. Um, absolutely, pun intended, I guess. Um, image doesn't call them absolutes. This is called the Smorgasbord Edition, Volume Three. I have all the other smorgasbord editions over there, so I'm going to be excited to kind of slide this in to the shelf with the rest of his brothers, and this completes the 60 issue um, run of Chew, which is one of the, probably in the last 10, 15 years, definitely one of the best and consistently great uh, new books that we've gotten, new series and stuff like that. It's a done, complete series, it's 60 issues. But it was consistently great, which is kind of made it maybe was a little bit of a pitfall for Chu that it was so good that it you know it didn't get that much recognition because anytime anybody ever did a review of Chu um, as the issues were coming out, it's like yep, Chu came out and it was great again and you know just moved on from there. Never really 
uh, gave it a lot of spotlight or attention because it was just con that consistently good. You just didn't need to talk about it because it was always, always good. But this is great. Uh, so that's, that's that. Table's dirty. And then let's move on to uh, Omnibus. That's going to be coming up next. I got the uh, Jonathan Hickman Avengers Omnibus. If you guys watched that video, thank you for watching that. That got really popular. I don't have it anymore right now. Uh, the one I got, maybe you saw it in the video, had some damage to it. Um, all four corners were pretty dented in. Um, and I think some of the binding was not that great. So uh, emailed IST and they're super cool about it. And you know, I sent it back. I, I should hopefully be getting a replacement sooner or later. Um, but I'll pop up the video for that if you guys want to see any more information about that, that book. But let's move on to, oh, these are out of order. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kind of spoiled it. Uh, absolute, not absolute, that'd be cool. Uh, Green Lantern, Jeff Johns. Volume 1. Volume two. And, of course, if I got one and two, I needed to get volume three. So all three... Oh, can you see me, guys? So all three of the uh, uh, amazing, basically perfect Green Lantern uh, story, especially for this generation. Modern Green Lantern, this is... You can't get any better than this. Um... But that, Jeff John does absolute, absolutely perfect Green Lantern. That's all three omnibus right there. Um, you can't get any better. This collects the entire run of Jeff John's Green Lantern. It, it includes uh, Sinestro Core War. It includes Blackest Night and stuff like that. No, uh, for the Blackest Night stuff, there's no none of the... Uh, Green Lantern Core stuff or any of the ancillary satellite series or anything like that. Just straight Green Lantern. Um, but you got like first appearance of Red Lantern and all that kind of fun stuff in here as well. So um, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm excited to start. I read all these in singles. I had all the singles before I sold my comic book collection. But I needed to get it back one way or the other because this is a series that needs to be in your collection, my collection, everybody else's collection. It is. I can't believe I waited so long to pick this up. But I'm kind of glad I did. Uh, volume 1 and Volume 2 is the new print with a different logo that some people uh, can't quite stand that the logo is a little bit different. But also from my understanding, the binding is a little bit better. So I'm good with that because I heard the binding on the first volume was a little too tight for some people's comfort. Boom. Is that it? No, that's not it. Um, oh, uh, I got a... Really big, big, big comic. I got my Grail comic book. I got a Fantastic Four number one. Yes, that Fantastic Four number one, the original Jack Kirby Stan Lee. I don't have that anymore right now either. Uh, that immediately got, uh, I took it to work uh, at Torpedo Comics and uh, I'm gonna go get it pressed and regraded to see if I kind of clean it up and get a little bit of a boost and a grade in it. The original was a 3.5. If I can make it to a 4, I'd be absolutely uh, happy with that. So, I don't have that now to show off, but if you want to see it, video right up here I just did on it, so check it out there if you want to see some more details on my Grail comic, my absolute favorite comic of all time, the one I've always pined after. Now I have it, and I don't, I'm don't. i pretty much satisf satisfied with single issues from now on, for the most part. Alright, so let's move on to some different things. So we did... We did Pops, we did DVDs, we did um, an Absolute Smorgasbord, we did Omnibus, we did comics, even though you didn't see the comic itself, single issue comic. Let's move on to the last bit here, vinyl. This is the Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, double, it's two, uh, two LPs in here, absolutely beautiful collection. Um, Absolutely beautiful music. Uh, Ocarina of Time was a fantastic soundtrack. So let me kind of show this off real quick. Here's the front. And then here's the back. Open it up. 
beautiful artwork inside of here as well. Check that out. And then the sleeves are really nice. Also, there's one sleeve. Dang it. Sorry, guys. I don't want. I didn't want this video to be too long. Cause there's so much stuff. And two sleeves. This one's a really cool kind of pink, purple uh, colored vinyl. And this one, if you can't tell from the picture, is a really nice green splattered as well. So, really cool designs. Beautifully constructed and put together. Uh, sound quality is amazing, of course, because it's, it's vinyl. So that's that. That's the vinyl. And that's pretty much my haul. Outside of one last thing, which I will get more into. Got the... This is the newest Nick box. Uh, summer, summer Fun, I think it's called. Summer Block Party. Uh... Nick box. Uh, Nick box is basically like loot crate, uh, but it's all Nickelodeon exclusive items that you can only get through the box system itself. I'm not going to open it here. I'll do a separate video for that. So if you want to see this, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a like. Uh, that subscription will also, of course, make this video when, it, when I do it pop up in your feed and you can see what's going on with that as well. So that's really... That's really it. This is pretty short for all the stuff that I got. Um, I'm glad I didn't ramble on too much. Um, sometimes these videos get a little long and I want to respect your guys' time um, by not making these videos extremely long and forcing you to watch it or you don't watch all of it. And I don't want that to happen. I want these to be enjoyable for everybody all the way through the video itself. So, there we go. Uh, June was a really, or July, excuse me, was a really good month. Uh, August is looking pretty good. Uh, August 4th. No. I think it's the 3rd. Or is it the 2nd? Whatever. First Wednesday of um, August is the uh, new Jack Kirby Artist Edition for Fantastic Four. It's the double upsized one. Twice upsized, however you want to call it. So I'll be getting that and I'll do a video on that for you guys as well. Again, please, if you're interested in Artist Editions, I'll do a cool spotlight on that and I'll show you guys the book and we'll flip through the pages together. If you don't know what an artist edition is, watch that video and you'll find out because it's absolutely the craziest, most amazing books that are ever put out uh, at all, per period, is those artist editions. It's the greatest things that come out. So um, thank you very much, everybody. I'm gonna cut out of here right now, but thank you so much for all of your support and your likes and your comments and your shares and everything else like that. Uh, I appreciate it very, very much. I'm going to throw up the gauntlet. And I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful rest of the summer and a great, great August. Okay? Thanks, everybody. Take care.